Hey y'all, welcome back to The Pink Envelope. I have full spoilers on the Elheim Winter 22 Home Decor Subscription Box. I am very, very excited about this. We've done a couple other winter boxes, but I feel like we're really starting to catch our flow with these. Kicking off this season, I really want to remind you guys, not every box is for everyone, but there is a box for everyone. So if you're looking at a box, because I have a lot I'm going to show you, and you're like, mm, I don't know if it's for me. Wait, wait. See if there's another box that pops up that you love. But if you're looking at the box and you're like, oh my goodness, I love this. Order quick, because we do have a few of them, and Elheim is included in this that will sell out. And I'll explain that more in a minute because there's customizations. So although the whole box won't sell out, parts of it might. If you're new here, Elheim is a home decor subscription box. It is a, this is, <laughs> I would love to hear y'all's feedback. I'm a Southern Texan, so I say huga. It's a huga theme, the Norwegian word. But I think a few of you say higya, higya. I think that's right. Uh, and we've gone back and forth and it might just be my southern accent. <laughs> I have to like focus to say, hey, yeah, who, yeah. this is how it's spelled if you're wondering. But it's, woo, it's Norwegian for the cozy, um, a state of balance, a state of well-being. And this box is designed around those aspects. It is quarterly at $98. Shipping in the U.S. is based on your location. But if you use the code pink envelope, you get 10% off your first quarterly or annual subscription. And she just launched a new website. I haven't played on it that much. I mean, like I ordered my box on the old website. It just now launched. So um, you used to have to start an account before you added your box. I don't know if that's still the case. So y'all loop back and let me know what y'all think on that new website. Okay, this box will ship. December 1st through the 5th, customizations are here to stay. She's been testing them out to see if it'll work and it's been wildly successful. So, you will get an email to customize your box. You can select a pre-built box or you can customize your box. If you customize your box, you will select the key pieces on your box and then they will fill in the pieces around it. So either way, you're not responsible for doing all of the work and there's still a little bit of a surprise. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. My box that is customized. Your box may not look like this box. It may look similar. I'll show you the three top box options in a little bit so you can see what all three options look like. I also played on their add-on store. Did you know if you add on items from the add-on shop while you're ordering your box, she'll throw them in the box and ship them with your box? Yeah, saves you shipping and make sure all your stuff comes together so that when you're ready to open and decorate, you can go decorate. Elheim is a company that focuses on either American built products or the products are ordered from an American owned company, which is really, really cool. Okay, I'll pull my bubble wrap off and then we've got just tissue, oh gosh, it's heavy. I just see tissue paper here. <laughs> More packing material, let's see. Is it wrapping something? Oh no, here we go. Okay, this is what I see. I like that they're wrapped, that is really cute. On top is the QR code, which is basically the booklet online here. Where do we wanna start? Let's start with this. So, I somewhat know what's in this box, but not really. Something that happens to me is I'll go through and order all of my boxes and customize them all at the same time and or somebody will do it for me like my sister or my husband and so I know like pieces but then I don't remember what belongs to what or which ones did I settle on so it's always a fun surprise when I'm opening it even though I do walk through the customizations you guys walk through it's kind of funny he's cute he is a little black and white see his antlers are black porcelain deer this is gonna be nice because this matches the deer I already, is it porcelain or ceramic? I always get those two confused. It's really weird that I can't, let's see if it says on here, figurine. <laughs> well, that's not very helpful. Yeah, it's the breakable material. 
but this matches my deer or coordinates well at least with the Just Deco deer that I got last year. So that's exciting. I would love to be able to create like a little village with the houses and the deers and the trees. That would be so, so cute. I've never done like the traditional like full on village like with the trains and everything, but I'm getting enough pieces that I think I can do a more modern version of that concept. Maybe that's the direction I go for winter and Christmas this year. I haven't decided. I wasn't gonna decide on anything until I got all my pieces in. Unlike last year, you can go watch this decorate with me. I knew from the beginning of the season exactly what I wanted to do and then I did it. This year I'm more like, okay, I'm gonna let the items speak to me and then decide how I'm decorating and I'll show you guys. I'll do a decorate with me video with that as well. I would also like to note, as of opening this box, it is 48 degrees outside in Texas. Crazy. I'm sure tomorrow will be 110. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So I'm back. My dish, let me show you. It came in broken. So I paused the video and emailed Dawn and was like, Dawn, what do you want me to do? And she said she'll send me a replacement. Their customer service there is amazing. But she said I could go ahead and continue to unbox. So which is really exciting because of course I want to show you guys what this looks like and I didn't want to wait on the video. And so I'm going to show you my dish that cracked and the replacement's on its way and then we can continue to play with the rest of the items. As you guys know, I get a lot of boxes, like a lot, a lot, a lot of boxes. And it is actually quite rare for things to arrive broken. It just doesn't happen. And so I'm really sad that this guy arrived broken. You can tell, and even on the box, you can see this one side has a pressure point. They must have pushed him pretty good on this side because it cracked right there in just that one spot, which is super sad. So ignoring the crack, look at the print and design on this. I love it. It does say do not microwave, but it says you can hand wash, which means we can serve food on it. I love the greens. Well, I mean, obviously, it, since my last video to now, I've gotten my nails redone. Look at my nails in comparison to this dish. I love greens, even the print. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, so sad, sad day, but I did want to show you that. And then we'll continue to dive in and play with the rest of the stuff. But I also think this gives me an opportunity to talk about something I don't normally get to talk about. If you do have an issue like this, photograph it and film it. I do both. With my cell phone, it doesn't have to be fancy. Sometimes I even take it outside just so the lighting will be good and I don't have to worry about like turning on all the lights. And get a good like show the box damage, show the product damage, and in photo and video. It really helps our subscription box owners make those insurance claims that they need to make. Because you saw the way that was wrapped. That was wrapped phenomenally. So when they can present evidence that they wrapped it three times in three different protective things and it's still cracked and the box have damage, they're able to get reimbursed. And I don't know all the logistics behind it, but I know that it makes it really a lot easier for them to make the claims. Um, with UPS, USPS, FedEx, whomever they're using. So I feel like that was a, uh, Don gave us an opportunity to chat about something. Okay, what else do we have in here? Let's open this guy. Oh, it's a set! Yay! He's so cute! So I noticed earlier when I was playing with these guys, the antlers are actually wired. So I wouldn't suggest moving them a lot, but like I just moved that guy to the edge they do adjust a bit. So like with this guy, I'm tempted to move his horns, look, forward, because they were leaning back. And so, although I wouldn't, I would try not to move them a bunch, you totally can adjust their, did I say horns? Their antlers. <laughs> I was just hearing myself say that. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, yay, dishcloths. So, I've made a commitment to myself. We get a lot of dishcloths in subscription boxes, and they're beautiful, like they're very, very beautiful. Why am I holding on to the stained, stretched out, yucky ones? I have kids. So the number of times they like make a Kool-Aid drink, then wipe it up and then throw it into the corner and the Kool-Aid absorbs for forever and that dishcloth is ruined is very high. So I am committing to throwing those out and or putting them outside for play towels or painting towels or kids towels and replacing them 
with these brand new, fresh, beautiful towels. These are machine wash warm, 100% cotton, excellent. I love it. We got one, two, and I think we've gotten some similar ones like these. Oh, these don't even, these are different, look. And a couple other boxes, and because they're all coordinating but not matching, my dish towel game in my kitchen is like nicer than my kitchen. It's kind of, it's kind of a fun thing. It's honestly motivating me to want to go ahead and finish the kitchen, although y'all have to hold me accountable. I cannot go into the kitchen and start remodeling it while my master bathroom's still gutted. What do we have here? I would love to know <laughs> if you guys do the same thing as me. My boxes come in and I make my selections uh, almost all at the same time for majority of my boxes and oftentimes I do tell them, just surprise me, you know what I love. Part of the thing I love about subscription boxes is I don't have to make decisions, they can make them for me. And so by the time I make selections and or tell them to surprise me, the box ships and arrives, I don't exactly remember what all I added. So it's like Christmas all over again. I know a few of you have told me y'all do the same thing. You make your selections for two or three different boxes and then you're like, wait, where did they land? But I would love to know, yeah, if you fall into that category or a different category. What are these? Also, tis the season. Save these silica gel packets to throw into the bottom of your storage bins for storing your Halloween stuff, your almost fall stuff, and upcoming Christmas. Oh my gosh. So simple, but I love them. Now, if you watched my Free Spirit Bundle unboxing, uh, which released a couple of days ago, you know I got a couple of candlesticks in there as well because I'm doing this whole mix and match candlestick thing. So you're like, where would this apply to that? Those were more of a goldish color, but they were carved out exactly like this wood's carved out with different rough textured edges and like slices into the metal. So I'm doing coordinating, not matching. And so that would be the coordinating element and I wanted to get a bunch of them to put either across my fireplace mantle or across the center of my dining table. I think it's gonna look so epic for Christmas dinner. Oh yeah, excellent addition to my candlestick thing. I don't remember adding these at all, like none. I mean, I believe that I did because I'm working towards that project, but, but I don't remember adding it. And so I'm super pleased that I got these in. And then there's another little bitty guy in here. What do we have here? Oh, they look like spreader knives. So here's one. And then here is the second one. These are pretty. Jonathan's gonna like these. He likes all of the black tones and the irons and the metals. He's gonna dig those big time. And good timing with holidays coming up. And I mean, we've already started serving people. We had people over for Halloween, the little kids Halloween party. So we were using serving wear there. We'll use it when we're at Thanksgiving, we're moving into Christmas and then New Year's. And then I think that I should be served for Valentine's using our serving wear. That maybe that'll be my request. That'll be a lot of fun. Hey, she included the candlesticks and these are great. So when my new dish comes in, these will go really well together on serving. You could even use the dishcloth as a base or an accent. It's loving that together. So I could set the candlesticks in the center. I, I kind of have a little bit of a kitchen vibe or dining vibe, should I say. I don't know if that's what she intended, but that's totally what my mind's doing with this box. Look at these candlesticks. Here, let me put, put one of them down so I can show it to you. They're like, swirly like a unicorn horn. You see it? Okay, so the base of these does not fit the base of this. So like, see how this, see how it's wobbly? So what you wanna do is either, 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 either. Do you say either or either? When I get on these videos, I suddenly hear myself talking and I'm like, which is the way, correct way to say things? Okay, either way, you can wrap paper towel on the bottom and stick it in. Some people use newspaper at the bottom. I typically get a lighter and light it up till it starts dripping and I let it drip, 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 drip in there and then I go like this and hold it 
and it just sticks because the wax holds it. So there are a few different ways you can hack your candlestick into staying into a base really easily. These are a wider base than this is. So you could even probably, I'll probably chop it like right here at that base where like the unicorn horn starts and then do my hot candle and stick it in. There's still more and I'm very excited about this piece. I was going through my stuff from my couch and I realized I have a lot of neutral pillows. I have an excess of Halloween pillows. Like it's a little weird, like 10 or more. Why, why, why I don't know, but I do. But then when I was pulling out my fall Christmas pillows, I didn't really have that many that scream fall or Christmas. So I needed this. And my family's spoiled. Like we like hop on the couch and we all get our own blanket and we all get our own big fluffy pillow. And so whenever I was decorating out there, the girls were like, we need pillows. So they're gonna be pleased to see this big guy. Look how big he is. It's the pillow cover and the pillow insert. It does have a zipper on the back so you can unzip it and remove the insert when you pack this away. Now, depending on the color of your home, this will be great for me for the Christmas and holiday season, but this is also generic enough that if you decorate with greens in your living room, this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. It does have four little tassels on each side and it says it's a 20 by 20 hand woven poly pillow in green. And this green matches this green really well, coordinates really, really well. You could split this between the dining room and your living room. You could put all of this in the dining room if you wanted to, or maybe with the exception of like these items, you could put all of this in the living room. So it kind of depends on how you do your space. I know some of you guys love to have a, like a one stop, like the box is a one stop setting for you. And then others of you like to spread it out throughout the house. I think I spread out throughout the house probably more. Although whenever people come over and they're like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? If I'm able to be like, oh, that's all from Ilheim. They're all like, what? So then sometimes I do like to keep it grouped together because it's really fun to show people how one subscription box can change an entire space in your house. So with her boxes, you have a few options. You can customize your very own box or you can choose a pre-done box. So if you're someone who's like, I love making selections, then building your own box is great for you. But if you're someone like me who's like, hey, I really love being surprised. I love the fact that curation is built into this box and I don't have to do any work. Then you can choose a pre-done box. So box one had a retail value of $155 and you can see that box here really cute. It's got the stamp bowl. It's got a carved tree. It's got a beautiful stoneware olive oil bowl it, bottle. It is just super chic. An Ikea wood serving tray and it has dish towels like mine with the fringe. And then the second one has a $175 value. It has a set of Christmas trees. It has these candle uh, holders. It has the stoneware serving platter like I got. It has the spreaders like I got. And it also has a set of kitchen dish towels. And then the third box actually has the deer that I got, uh, the olive oil, olive oil bottle, the marble cheese cutting board, the glass dome with carved base, and the dishcloth. So those are three pre-done boxes. Or you can build your own box exactly like you see here. So you can see bits and pieces of each of those boxes right here in my box. So then once you've made your selections on your box, whether you're customizing or doing a pre-built one, you can add shop items to your box. So I'm gonna go get a couple of items I have from a past box that I love, that I think are still available in the shop just to show you some mixing and matching. Okay, <laughs> I had to go get goodies to play with. But what I wanted to show you is in my last Elheim box, I actually got this pillow in my box as a part of my subscription. So I thought these two layered together 
would be a really, really fun look. Very fun, chic, easy. Once again, could totally go Christmas, but just by adding the right throw, or it could be neutral, and these could be pillows that go every day. I'm gonna do some changes for my living room in 2023, and I love greens. Like, I really love greens and blues. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do something along the lines of these colors, but we'll see. I, I'm so wishy-washy. But also in my last box from them, we got this gold holder. So you could put a candle inside here and all of these cutouts ricochet a light out onto the wall. It's gorgeous. We also got this large, very large bead set, which is so chic. I just have to note, look how great the beads and these candles go together. I also love, here, I'm getting too much stuff. Let me throw some stuff down here. I also love how not, I mean, I'm, I've, most of these items that I've pulled, like this guy, this guy, and this guy are from my fall box. So this is me showing you how fall and winter pull together nicely. Well, this blanket is from spring. And while I do agree it makes a beautiful spring blanket, because of the colors in it, I think it makes a gorgeous fall blanket as well. And look at this blanket with these two pillows. It looks really, really good together. Add in these natural tones like these guys and these guys, and it looks so good. But I also got these risers in two, so I think this was in one spring box and this was in the other spring box, that I think play nicely with this as well. You know how I love to elevate things, whether it's putting something as simple as this on the riser, or maybe it's like this and one deer. You know what I mean? Something like that. It looks so chic. Then add your candlesticks here on the ground. It just builds out that height and that depth that I absolutely love. We also got this guy. I call it the trough. I love it. I had to go run out there and get it. It's covered in glitter because I had it full of glittered pumpkins. But you could put ornaments in there. But the, everything I'm showing you is from either a past Elheim box or the Elheim online shop. And then this guy is so super, super cute. I got him in my last year's winter box. Uh, the base, I don't know why I do this. I surely am not alone. Is in a separate box. Like I can see through my Tupperware, it's at the bottom and I was just too lazy to pull the Tupperware out of the attic, drag it down the stairs to pull that little base out. So there's a little base that this sits in, but I think it still shows you just how well all of her past box items play with her current box items. She's a very defined higu. <sighs> My accent in foreign words don't always higu, huga. Like I, I every time. Well, depending on where you are located, either in the United States or the world, y'all spell it out for me differently. But I think you know what I mean whenever I say she follows that very cozy Norwegian trend when she's decorating in her color tones and in her palettes and they build so well together. So if you're liking this look, I highly recommend that you hop on and check out the boxes. Uh, I don't know her inventory counts on things. I probably should have emailed her before here, before filming this, but I don't think, I think she's a little bit left of everything. So you could build one, you could buy one of the pre-built boxes or you could build your own box. And then if you like any of these items, I know I saw this guy in the online shop. Oh, the tree set might be in there. Take a peek and look. Um, of course, my pillow for sure is in there. Before ordering it, I checked with her and I give this pillow a huge thumbs up on quality, color, aesthetic, feel, everything. I love this. I don't know if this blanket that plays so good for both spring and fall are in there. So just peek around um, and add those items into your box. So it just saves you money. It saves you time. It saves her time. It's just a win-win all the way around. Okay, you guys, I have a giant pile of boxes right there and a big pile of boxes over there. We just have a lot of fun things happening between now and Christmas. Of course, we have the holiday gift guide popping up very soon. I cannot wait 
to show you guys the boxes I've selected, but I went through and picked the ones that I know are the best value, the best customer service, the best quality, um, save time, save money, that just in general hit all of the points of things we talk about, and they do it over and over and over again. So we're gonna be launching that so that you guys can go through and easily pick out Christmas gifts for yourself and for others. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the fun things coming up. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing November, and if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye, y'all.